Treatment for cystic fibrosis has come a long way in recent years. More and more people with the condition live longer, better lives than ever before. But that's not enough. We want a cure. Gene and cell therapy may hold the key. Hi, I'm Dr. Lael Yonker, a pediatric pulmonologist at Mass General for Children. Cystic fibrosis is a genetic condition that causes cells in the respiratory system and other parts of the body to absorb too much sodium and water. This absorption causes thick mucus in the lungs, pancreas, and other organs. How might gene and cell therapies help people with cystic fibrosis? Gene therapy and cell therapy are somewhat similar. They're both forms of precision medicine where we create highly tailored treatments based on a person's genetic makeup or specific aspects of a medical condition. A change in the CFTR gene causes cystic fibrosis. CFTR stands for Cystic Fibrosis Transmembrane Conductance Regulator. If we can replace or modify the defective gene, we may be able to cure or prevent cystic fibrosis. That's gene therapy. There are many different mutations in the CFTR gene though, and that makes it challenging to find a gene therapy that works. Cell therapy is a process where we remove certain cells from a patient or donor, modify these cells in a lab with gene therapy, and return them to a patient through an IV or infusion. These modified cells teach the body to attack and destroy the defective cells that are causing mucus buildup. Gene and cell therapies aren't new. The first attempt at cell therapy was in 1889 when a scientist injected himself with animal cell extracts to try to stop the effects of aging. Modern cell therapy dates to the first successful bone marrow transplant in the 1950s. We've since used bone marrow and stem cell transplants to treat leukemia and blood disorders. Scientists began studying gene therapy in the 1960s with the first human clinical trial in 1990. A four-year-old girl was successfully treated for a rare genetic disorder called Severe Combined Immunodeficiency, or SCID. Today, gene therapy is FDA approved to treat some types of cancers, genetic diseases, and blood disorders. We want to harness the power of gene therapy and cell therapy for cystic fibrosis to slow, stop, and prevent it. We're also studying the use of stem cell therapy to treat cystic fibrosis damage to lung tissue, the pancreas, and other organs. In our labs and clinical trials, we're testing different approaches to treatments. These trials give people with cystic fibrosis the opportunity to access potential new therapies before they're widely available. We're also researching advanced imaging techniques to help us better understand and treat airway inflammation and hormone treatments for people who develop diabetes because of cystic fibrosis. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Lael Yonker. To learn more about other types of lung disease, click here and don't forget to subscribe.